Hey there, I'm Mark Drager from the Not So Corporate Podcast. And um, today I'm not in my car because I'm going to ask my team a very important question. So come with me. Hey, Louie. Hey, Mark. <laughs> what is the number one rule of post production? Number one rule of post production? I, I would say not sending things out with typos. Not sending things out with typos? Yeah. Leah? What computers play on that answer? <laughs> Leah, what would you say the number one rule of post-production is? I would say to be extraordinary. <laughs> would you say it's of not... Of production and post-production. The number one rule of Fanta. Would you say it's not to send stuff out with typos? No, I would not say that because Louie just said it and I feel like he threw me under the bus. So. <laughs> Why did he throw you under the bus? Because I made a typo on Friday. You and made I... a typo on Friday. And I feel terrible about it. <laughs> So on Friday we put out a video that had a typo and it was a pretty it was a pretty big typo. What makes good creative? We are <clears throat> missing the R, but it's on YouTube, it's up. So what do you do? Well, I was lucky enough to have Mike McKenzie text me. I was eating dinner Friday night and he texted me from Vancouver to say that uh, there was a typo in the video. Now the typo isn't on the thumbnail, it isn't in the post, it isn't anywhere where we could change it. It's in the video itself. So what do you do? Well, the best thing to do is to not put out videos with typos. What we tend to do is copy and paste everything into Word to make sure that there's no typos, there's no spelling mistakes, and then copy it into the editing software. Obviously, we missed it. Now, you know, for Leah, who edits the mark in the cars, um, <laughs> I emailed her Friday night and she felt terrible about it. And we went back and forth and we said, well, what can we do? Well, I mean, if you upload a video to YouTube, you have a few options. You can delete the video, fix it and re-upload it, but then you lose all of your comments, you lose your view counts, and so that's not really an option uh, for some people. The other thing you can do is leave it, right? You can leave it there and you can just hope that no one notices it. What we chose to do about it is to call it out and make a video about it <laughs> and hopefully learn from it. We can try and maybe create an annotation to cover it up or some, something like that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to point it out to everyone. We're going to say, hey, there's a typo here. We made the typo. We made the mistake. You know, it's unfortunate, but we made a video on what to do about it. So key takeaways, try not to put anything up with typos or spelling mistakes. Use Word or another software to copy and paste to make sure that everything is correct. Um, and then if a video does go up with a typo, you really have two options. You can delete it, lose your view count, lose your comments, and then re-upload it, or you can simply leave it. Unfortunately, YouTube does not have a functionality where you can replace a video. Now, if you're using any kind of third-party software, if, um, if you're using something like Wistia or it's on your website, you can easily overwrite it. That's something you can do very, very quickly and very easily. But on YouTube, Unfortunately, you can't. So what do you do when you make a typo in a YouTube video? I say you celebrate it. <laughs> and then you make your editor, Leah, feel bad about it. Sorry, Leah. <laughs> we wanted to have a bit of fun with this because obviously no one's perfect. And I'd like to know from the audience, what would you do if, if you had a typo? Would you delete it and re-upload? Or would you just simply leave it? Because we were facing that uh, decision Friday night. We weren't quite sure what to do about it. We chose to leave it up there and then have some fun with it. Thanks so much for watching.